Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to the World of Light with Robberlink. Hello. So where we left off, we invaded Donkey Kong's Island and beat up everyone there. Yeah. And we got Diddy Kong from that. So I don't think we fully explored the Neon Maze, but we found this seaside village. Yeah. So let's go uh, mess it up. Or at least all the spirits here. Yes. Oh, King Hippo. I actually remember this guy from the original Punch-Out on NES. I'm I'm sure you can tell where his weak point was. Hmm. Obviously, they're his fists are his weak point. <laughs> ah, yes, you must punch his fists. Because that makes sense. All right. Unfortunately for him, I have a spirit that's better. <laughs> Yeah, I think in Punch-Out, it would always say, like, the fighter's name and where they were from. I don't remember what it said for this guy, like, where he was supposedly from, because he's clearly, like, from a fictional place. I think. I don't remember exactly. Nice. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that I, um, cracked his shield. <laughs> And he had this? <laughs> Better shield durability. <laughs> Let me just break that first. It's like, hmm. Doesn't seem to have worked out too well for you, huh? Yeah, I don't... Like, I know for sure I never beat the original NES Punch-Out, but I got pretty far in it. Hmm. Well, I, I pretty much never played the NES, so... Oh. Ooh. Apparently it's four star. Sun final smash, really? And invincibility. Hmm. <sighs> but I'll try it. Also, I like how the it's different colored Kirby's to represent the Lumas. <laughs> I was just thinking like Shine Sprites was Sunshine, Rosalina was Galaxy. Yeah. Doesn't quite match up, so but they're all they're all from the mainline 3D Mario series. True. It's like, it's the best we could do, deal with it. <laughs> Alright. Get Konged. I don't remember what Rosalina's final smash is. Was it was it like a black hole or something? I honestly can't remember. You start with it? Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, ow, ow. Maybe I'm thinking of Palutena. Cause, like, I, I'm never really sure because I think a lot of them have changed between, you know, Brawl, Wii U, and Ultimate, but I think Palutena is, is now like Black Hole and then like Mega Laser or something like that. I think that's what I was thinking of. Hmm. Nope, not dead yet. And our final smash. At least it's not that effective. Yes! Nice job. Oh. Special move power up. Hmm. So that'd probably be really good for Samus, or if you want to do the the B punch with Donkey Kong. Yeah, definitely good with Samus. Oh. In fact, why don't we try it? Was it a one slot? I'll have to check. Thomas. So this is now your your second four star spirit? I think so. Oh no wait, you already had Ho. -Oh. oh yeah, that's right. Wow. Sorry, I forgot completely about you, Hobo. <laughs> you're not special. You're not even. You're not even on the uh, Pokédex. Yeah. All right. I feel the power flowing through me. Okay. Well, Bison was your first, uh, you know, main fighting spirit. Yes. Non-support. You know. <laughs> 
Urban Champion. No clue what that is. Me neither. Looks pretty what? old, judging by the art style. Time balance hostile assist trophies. No. I'm not weakening myself for you. I'm not going to change to a lesser spirit to even it out. I am not... I don't want to deal with any more assist trophies than I have to. <laughs> It's like kill him before the assist trophy appears. Victory! Nice. <laughs> As you say. It's like we don't know what your assist trophy is and that's for the best. <laughs> hmm. Let's clear out let's clear out this little area. Quen. Oh, wait, that's an O. Yeah, Oendan cheerleaders from Osu Tatakai Oendan. No clue what that is. <clears throat> Me neither. Um, I did translate that other one, that Kairu whatever, if you remember from last session. That sounds familiar. The one that you, you were like, Kairu no take whatever. Oh, that. It was, it was, uh... I think it was like for the frog the bell tolls or something like that. Hmm. Something about frogs and bells tolling. Specifically for the frogs. Okay. So I was also thinking back on the topic of older games. Do you remember Hover? Sounds familiar. Oh, right. That's the game where you just kind of hover around. Basically, like in... I don't know. I remember it being very, like, neon or Tron-like, kind of. Um, Is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe. So I'm pretty sure it came with, like, for free with certain old Windows, uh... I don't know if it was like 98, 95, whatever, probably 98, but uh, it's basically a game where you're in a hovercraft and you basically go around the map trying to collect these flags that are in these yeah. hidden spaces. And then I think my mother played it and she got stuck in a w wall or something somehow. Yeah. Broke the game somehow? Yes. Um, yeah, there were like three maps basically I think there was like a castle looking map there was the, like a purplish neon place and like I want to say inside a sewer looking place hmm. and there were there were these AI hovercrafts that were trying to find your flags and so it was like a race to get their flags before they got yours and as you progressed further into the levels there were more flags to collect and more enemy AIs Ah, I think there were two different AI types there was like a blue one and a green one. Don't remember what their difference was, but it was a pretty interesting game. Also, I'm fighting Lapras. Do you remember that Pokemon? Yes. All right. It also Good. looks kind of like the thing in Super Mario 64. Yeah, you're right. On that um, one level that... Hazy Maze Cave. Yes. The thing where you have to like ground pound its back to make its head go down, then you can walk onto its head, and then you direct it. Yes with your facing direction. Oh, weapons resist. All right, not bad. Interesting. 2007, that's so long ago now, geez. That reminds me of a, uh, a minion. Yeah. <laughs> the huge eye thing and the fact that it's like goggles. And the yellow body. Yeah, that too. Is this their evolved form? <laughs> well, slightly in evolved. It's a 3v. What, or, no, there's four of them, isn't there? Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can kill them all like this. We're just fighting all of Splatoon at once. Ready, go. Show them who's... <laughs> show them what the superior series is. Yes. I'll show you who's a god of better shooter game. It's like you don't even shoot real projectiles. You just shoot ink. 
That's yeah. Not, that's not a real projectile. All right, uh, you seem to be failing a bit. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Talk about edge guarding. <laughs> All right, then. Like, no, you did not do it right. You were supposed to beat them up. Now you must try again. All right, well, they're asking for this. That'll work. It's like, I could have had a nice fair fight and made you feel good by dealing damage to me, and now I just have to outright murder you. just a random thought because it's <laughs> um Splatoon and Metroid it's like if someone made like a a video of like you know it's all fun and games with the uh Splatoon inklings doing their thing and then all of a sudden you see like a portal open and all these Metroids start coming out and all of a sudden there's like this dark turn <laughs> and people and these inklings start dying <laughs> it's like oh god what's happening one or two of them get back up with, like, bluish veins and glows. Phase on corrupted inklings. <laughs> ah, they're weaklings. They can beat the phasings or whatever. Ah, medley. Increased jump power. Oh, yeah, didn't you use her... Like, you would hold her on your above your head and she would give you, like, an extended uh, jump distance... I think with so. With the wings or something? I just, I just remember the part where you have to f fling her <laughs> so she can get up on a cliff. Maybe that was it. I mean, it could be both. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it during our playthrough or not, but... Apparently, I'm sure it's been fixed by now, but there was a bug earlier on where if if two Isabels uh, both used their fishing rod to pick up the same assist trophy, it could cause it to like infinitely spawn. Oh god. And there was that uh, Rathagall or whatever, that dragon thing. That was the, fun the funniest one to watch just continuously spawn over and over. Can't remember what that is. Well, it looks like a huge dragon thing. Huh. Back kick. <laughs> it's like sometimes you wish they didn't fix all of the bugs in certain games. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why the, that's why the older games. Uh, that you can only get on like discs and stuff before online stores. Those are the best. Because... <laughs> They do have to make sure that that got everything right the first time. So it usually does end up pretty good. But then there's that one or two glitches you find. Yeah, just hope they're not game breaking in any way. Well, yeah, obviously. Also, whatever this Pokemon is, it's an abomination. Actually, wait, what is it? it oh, must, Salamance. It must be burned with fire. <laughs> and if it's a fire type, then... um. I don't know. Drown it in acid. Not sure. I know it's a dragon type. I'm not sure if it has another type. Well, let's just kill it. <laughs> Ready? Go! Ow. <laughs> yeah. It seems strange to me how a lot of the Pokemon, I guess maybe from that generation or around that generation, they have those weird, like, triangular eyes, like, in that specific shape, as well as certain other design features that are, I guess, recognizable but look weird to me for a Pokemon. Really? Yeah. I never noticed, but... Hmm. 
Unless, unless my mind is just making things up that aren't actually true, <laughs> which is entirely possible. <laughs> Slightly biased. <laughs> Pokemon trainer. I choose you. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, you caught a Pokemon trainer and a Pokeball? Oh, God. <laughs> he can spawn his own, and he can use his own Pokemon. <laughs> so you just, like, have an extra six Pokemon. So it's like, you. <laughs> not only... Not only is this a question of can you have people captured in Pokeballs, but also can they be captured in a Pokeball while they're carrying Pokeballs? <laughs> Just like keep doing that like over and over again. <laughs> so you can just throw out Pokemon traders, you have Pokemon traders, you have Pokemon traders. So you just have a small army on you at all times. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I imagine that's something that, <laughs> considering how they're supposed to be evil, Team Rocket would probably be willing to do. <laughs> The thing is, <laughs> you might need to be kind of quick about it, <laughs> because if you're like, okay, Pokemon trainer, go, okay, Pokemon trainer, go, and then in the meantime, the other person's like, okay, attack them, <laughs> before they can get to the point where they actually throw out useful Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, no, wait, wait, there's still a few more. <laughs> uh Mm, just reminds me of in our playthrough of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, we mentioned like the possibility of having like a Pokeball bandolier. Yeah. What if you had one that was also like it automatically launched all of them at the same time? Oh god. <laughs> so you so you do that, you fire out like ten Pokeballs at the same time that let out all these Pokemon trainers. They each have one of these launching bandolier things <laughs> that each launch, launches out like ten Pokemon. Then you have like a entire Pokemon army of like a hundred Pokemon immediately in the time it takes to launch Pokeballs twice pretty much yeah that works <laughs> the mobile Pokemon army it's not exactly humane but it works <laughs> it's good as long as you don't have ethics <laughs> Uh, it's like, by our point of view, it's good as long as you have the right ethics. <laughs> hmm. Surprisingly empty path. I don't know if you cleared that path before, but it's back to the Donkey Kong Island. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was blocked. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for reminding me that's Donkey Kong Island, because I was actually going to go through it because I couldn't remember. <laughs> Blooper. Tiny inkling. Well, I guess they are squid creatures. Uh, like, oh no, you made me ink. I don't want level ones, jeez. <laughs> it's like, come on, level up your other spirits. No. We will stick to the best and no other. So another game I thought of that is more recent, um, it was interesting, uh, Sanctum and Sanctum 2, they're like a combination of tower defense and first person shooter. Yeah, I've, I've played them. Yeah, I thought that was another interesting thing we played in our past. Yeah, it's actually, it's kind of along the lines of uh, Battlezone 2 where it's like, you know, it's a kind of a combination of things that you don't usually see. Yeah. Because tower defense that you yourself can help mm -hmm. I think in the first sanctum I think I got it like in a steam bundle that came with all it's like DLC or whatever because otherwise I don't get DLC but uh I think one of the DLC maps in the first sanctum I was not able to beat no matter what I did I think there was a couple in the first sanctum that I still have yet to beat I remember this one it was specifically just like a big square area for the most part and I'm pretty sure it was one of the DLC maps. It's like, how are you even supposed to do this? Like, I, I figured out a pretty efficient way of making them go through pretty much the entirety of the map. You know, so I mazed it out pretty well. Yeah. But I still couldn't actually beat it. Hmm. We could try to do it together after this. <laughs> yeah, it's been so long I'd need to get into the groove of it again. 
You don't need it again. They would just have more people. <laughs> more firepower. Well, does it split your economy? I'm not sure. Fishman. Fishman, say hi. <laughs> this guy's from um, Wind Waker, isn't he? He might have been. Was Yeah, can't you, um like, gem using fish bait? I don't know, but does he give you, like, maps or something? Yeah. Or, like, or like he does, um, you know, give you a location on a map. It makes sense, considering his, um... Paintbrush? Yeah. Ink brush, whatever. It's like it's been so long since we've played these games. Is there a way to tell it I don't want level ones? <laughs> I have no idea. Huh. Alright, you know what? You seem half decent. I guess I'll use you. <laughs> and since you do sword attack, I'll go back to Lynx and so it's been a little bit. <laughs> oh, uh, random note. One of the spears you passed up in your inventory, I guess. Uh, is that one Castlevania character you called him Juiste or something like that? Apparently, like, I'm pretty sure his name is actually just Juiced. Hmm. I think it's like it was French or something. Oh, well, I'd explain it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> as a joke, I'd spell it like Juiced as in, like, you have juiced a fruit or something like that. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, wow. Oh. I was going to say, off the plank with you. <laughs> off the entire boat, period. Yeah. I don't remember where, but I heard that the whole walking the plank thing is probably not how it really was. It's probably just, you know, a cinematic or fictional kind of... Like a tame... Hmm. A tame version of what could have been, but it probably wasn't anything near nearly that tame. That would have actually occurred in real life. That kind of deal, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Or maybe they did do it in real life, but... You know. It's like one thing that happened. And for some reason, it got really popular in media. Wait. Time, stamina, battle, and up smash attacks. It's like, oh god, what did they do to Executor? Wait. They put him through a rack. <laughs> Isn't that what he normally looks like? No. Or I thought you could do that anyways, right? I don't think so. Well, he doesn't look any weirder than he originally did. In fact, I think it looks better. <laughs> it's meant to look like a tree, yeah? I think your opinion is skewed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just didn't really have a neck in the original one. I... Yeah, I think I'm remembering now. It's just kind of like the body, the eggs on top. Yeah. The non-Alolan version. Whatever Alolan is. I don't know what... I don't know what the Alolan Islands are. It's just that apparently Pokemon there are weird. Like, Sandslash is like a ice ground type for some reason. What, do you just spend his time under the ground in the, uh, in the Arctic or something? I guess. Uh. There's also something else I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. On the topic of, um, things being popularized when they weren't true. I think I remember reading somewhere on the internet, so obviously it's 100% trustworthy. That, um... Really? That the, um, you know how they used to use, like, coconuts, um, to make horse clopping noises? Well, I know they did it in Monty Python. Well, I'm pretty sure they did in, like, for other things, too, just in general. But that 
sound actually only happens like, um... Nice. When, um, horses are on, like, gravel or paved roads. Mm. But in media, you just hear horses making that noise wherever they walk, even if it's on, like, grass. Dirt, sand, whatever. Yeah, which is actually not realistic. Because it wouldn't make that much noise. But apparently, audiences now find would find that to be unrealistic like they expect the clip clop clip clop <laughs> all the time i just gotta find out you know our opinion is kind of skewed based on the media expecta expectations yeah yeah this thing's ugly i was also going to mention how weird it was that palutena was representing the executor is like is it supposed to be like the green hair and the green leaves yeah, I I have no clue. It's like, it'll work. Roll with it. Yeah. Just pretend it works. Why do I need strong throw? You know, we have super armor. Does super, does super armor prevent throwing? Well, it makes them harder to launch. All right. Ow. For some reason, it reminds me of Kraid now. Was there a battle where he represented Kraid? Wait. Where? A giant King K. rule? I think so. You said Kraid, and I, imme I immediately thought Ridley for some reason. Ah, uh, yes. I think I've done that already at some point. Ow. Where I actually said the wrong one. Wow, he just punched the bomb. Jeez. All this range he gets is not fair. Nice. Okay. I don't know how I made that comeback. It works. <laughs> just link down air for the win. Huh. <sighs> All right. Should we end it here or see who this guy is? I think you can do one more fight. All right. Ah, me gunner. <laughs> Clearly the most iconic character. Yes. So I think a few episodes ago, maybe a few sessions ago even, we mentioned how there's no real characters for Smash. Like when we were talking about like the Primid and whatnot. And I guess this would actually kind of count. Mm, I guess, but that's more of just... Nintendo in general. Yeah, I guess it's possible. At least in my opinion, but it's I like, guess... It's like me, which is in general a Nintendo thing, and then it's also specifically a me gunner fighter or All right. brawler. Like, if, you, if you look at it like that, then yeah, I guess. It's kind of like it could go either way. Not exactly what I'd want for a iconic Smash original character. <laughs> You'll have to do... like what else would they give you a mini galleon or something <laughs> like because everyone loved galleon imagine if there were like little prototype versions that you could play as <laughs> kind of makes me think what if they did like a, a game mode where one person controls a boss and you're against three people Because I know there are certain games that have that kind of a game mode. Like even Overwatch had like a uh, temporary game mode. I think it was during winter or something where one person was a giant Winston and everyone else was a May. He had to try and uh, capture him. Huh. Because they gave May like Junkrat's trap. And I think Winston has to go after like meat or something like that that's just laying on the floor. Also, would you die... I wanted to just yeet you off, but now you're actually ticking me off. Nice bomb. Not as nice bomb. If it's not going to use the... Uh, oh, there it goes. I was just going to say, you might as well just kill Frick. him. Eh. 
All right, now you might as well just kill him. I'm trying. I've been trying. There you go. See, all you had to do was try, which you clearly weren't doing. You know what? I think you're right. I think I was lying to myself. Like, I clearly have a, be a better handle on this situation that I'm not a part of. <laughs> Obviously. It, it gives you objectivity <laughs> and impartialness. All right. So I think we'll end this episode here. Sounds good. And we'll probably check out that portal next time. So we'll see you then. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.